Hey guys, Lone here, and I'm back with Houdini. You want to say hello? Oh, you're just going to purr? Okay, that's cool. So, I was hoping to have some fan art done for this week, but then I remembered that it was Mermaid, and so I decided, hey, let's uh, do something for Mermaid. And one thing I noticed is that, eh, hey, that's, no, that's my supper. <laughs> one thing I noticed, sorry about that, was that not a lot of guy mermaids are done, so I figured I'd take a stab at it. So, yeah. So, with Houdini finally feeling better, so... That's always good. I decided let's plow through this. And uh, I actually recorded it yesterday at the time that I'm recording this audio. And it actually took all day, even though technically it only took about three and a half hours to record the coloring. But um, I had to take my time on it because, as you guys can see with the background, uh, it took a bit of blending. And then on top of that, uh, because of having to find references for like a deep sea floor, not just like a a coral reef, which I noticed a lot of people do with mermaids. I had to look up reference shots and whatnot. And then uh, one thing I noticed with a lot of underwater photos is that like the further away the uh, items are, the ground is from the camera, like it takes on a more of a bluish hint from the sea. So that's how I got the uh, background pillars. That's why they're a bit more blue compared to like the coral that's or the floor I should say that's closer to my little shark boy um the marks around his arms shoulder and his sides are actually supposed to be guilds um and another thing I kind of had issues with was actually his nose because I didn't want a human nose if that makes sense kind of like uh what I wanted was more of like maybe Voldemort Voldemort's nose from Harry Potter like that's kind of what I was envisioning but but with a little bit of extra stuff or like more I don't know flat I guess I'm bad with words so yeah and then I don't know it just kind of he just kind of evolved into a shark boy <laughs> So yeah, uh, so that is why uh, he looks the way that he does. Uh, one thing I will say is I did get a blooper out of this because uh, whenever I was putting down the base layer for the ground, um, I bumped my table with my knee whenever I was adjusting myself and I accidentally knocked, like the vibrations knocked the tripod forward and the camera bashed me right in the head. So I was kind of like, alrighty then, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but thankfully I didn't damage my camcorder, which makes me really happy. So I don't know, I'll just add that blooper whenever I get to 2000, I'll make another blooper reel for you guys to enjoy um just because i don't know i also have to make sure that it doesn't get me in trouble with copyright because i was watching studio ghibli films while i started working on it initially and all that good stuff so yeah i mean overall i'm really proud with how this came out and uh i'm very jealous of people that can use rollers in one go and get a straight line i i can't like you, like you can get a straight line but if you guys know what i'm talking about like where one side is not like crooked and it's straight and stuff that would be great <laughs> so i had problems with that but i'm i'm really happy with how this came out um it, i don't know it just just makes me frail with pride. Pride. And then with Houdini feeling better, it was just, yeah, the icing on the cake. Uh, we did figure out what exactly what was wrong with the Houdini, so she is in perfect health now. She had to be force fed for a couple of days, but then she kind of took to food after everything that had happened and she has now since uh been camped out in my bathroom i don't know why she just she wants to hang out in there she doesn't want to hang out with me anymore so she's chilling out in the bathroom and i was like you want to talk on on the audio today and she was meowing every single time and now she's not meowing she's purring like a hi yes that's my face that's my nose so but she's a good cat so she she feeling better now so yay which means more art soon but i do hope that you guys enjoyed this and uh hopefully i can actually get what i was talking about last week done for next week 
Uh, it's a pretty big project. I'm hoping I can actually convince myself to open up a bigger sketchbook in order to work on it because my small one is just not going to be big enough for what I have planned. So I hope regardless that you guys enjoy and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Oh, one other thing I should mention as well, m kudos to Steven who is my fiance. He's the guy that was talking in the last video. Um, he is my fiance, just I don't wear a ring on camera or at all really, so yeah. <laughs> so in case you guys were curious as to who that was, that was actually my fiance, so. Many kudos to him for making a video, kind of letting you guys know what was going on. And I thank you guys so much for your support and understanding that like my cat takes priority over YouTube. So I will see you guys in my next video, which should be next week, so yeah. Yeah, Mom? No? Okay. See you guys later. Bye!